Good morning, big wave trading family. We finally hit escape velocity, it looks like, on the market. Um, not only <laughs> do I have quite a few long positions again, this is really getting tiring, but I barely had any stops and profit targets trigger on Monday, and the ones that did did not raise enough cash for me to put any capital to work in any of the quality long signals. Instead, the limited amounts of cash and buying power that I have per account will be used to go long the three new speculative long positions and the three new speculative ad signals that I posted on the platinum new position section. The quality long signals, I am not going to be able to put any capital into any of these names I'm about ready to go over. Now, if I can raise capital because I have a few 20% profit taking signals that are going to trigger tomorrow morning, as long as the stocks are not gapping away from the limit orders I'm about ready to go over, I will then buy those long positions with the capital raise from the market sells in the morning and if any other stops or profit targets trigger. So first off, let's get to the new long positions of quality. The very first one is OFIX. OFIX showed up in my Canslim quality stock scan because this used to be Canslim quality. It is no longer Canslim quality, but it does have earnings and sales growth. You can see the long previous uptrend from March to August, September. You can see the limited inherent risk if we use these support levels as our cut loss level. Using even this one as a final one as an extreme gives us very limited inherent risk compared to the previous uptrend. So I want to get long OFIX. Limit order at 48.38, the high of the day since it's not extended. First cut loss, 47.16. Final cut loss, emergency cut loss, 46.01. The same principle applies. This level fails before this level on an end-of-day basis. All or half of the stop gets raised depending on if it pulls back on heavier volume and or loses green bot. But OFIX was a cancel quality stock. It was also in my daily volume surge scan, which looks for the stocks up on the biggest volume relative to the recent trading history, and then obviously made the price volume bop surge scan. So it was um, across the board confirmation in three different scans. 3% of my account capital is supposed to go into OFIX. Instead, zero is going in there. But if I raise cash, like I said, and this thing does not gap up above 48.38, and it's trading in between 48.38 and 47.26 when that capital is raised, this is the very first name that I'm going to start buying. The next name I'm going to start buying after that is NTEC. This is the other new long signal. You will notice all of the beautiful green bop, max green bop, green bop, max green bop, green bop, max green bop in this chart, along with all of the tall green accumulation bars over the 50-day volume average. You'll notice the nice steady uptrend, the nice pullback right here seems to be finding support at the 899 area, now bouncing higher, 930. This stock is a long signal because it's in the low price perfect speculator scan. If it was not in the perfect speculator scan, even though it was confirmed <clears throat> in both of my green bop scans, my green bop for the past 20 days and max green bop for the past five day scan, it would not have been a new long position due to the extension from the 20 day moving average. But since it is a perfect speculator quality stock, and it could easily, notice how this stock, right, or notice whenever it was back here, it didn't come anywhere close to the 50-day moving average and still took off higher. It's possible NTEC does the same thing. If it does, I'm going to be on board. If not, our cut loss level is right there. So I'm getting long. Once I raise capital, if I can, if the stock is trading between 930 and 891, I will go get long. If it gaps up, forget about it. Limit order 930. Your one and only cut loss level, 885. If you decide to get crazy and give it some room to the downside, I would only give it to either 812 or 775. No matter what, though, 775 has to be your final cut loss. I do not want to see it break below 775. And in fact, it shouldn't break below 885. If it does, if you use the two tier stops, this level goes. You got to start raising your stops. Low volume or not, max green bop or not, they have to be raised. And then I have three ad signals, all very high quality overall. The first one, uh, the least quality out of all the high quality, CSGP. This is a cancel quality stock, confirmed in my price volume bop scan. I only got a few shares this morning, and once again, I had to wait to purchase it. I purchased everything else but CSGP. I did not have enough capital to put into this, the amount that minimum amount that I wanted to which is going to be about 10 shares. I was able to get those 10 shares as capital was raised. Now I have an ad signal, and this will be the least of all my priority longs to add to. But CSGP, 
bullish hammer candle over candle pattern, above average volume, increase in green bop. Want to get long. If I can, 272.72, the high of the day. First cut loss level, this low, 265.59. Final cut loss level, a move below 255.41, right there. And then also, VRTX, a second ad signal in a row. I always like to see that, but pocket pivot point signal, above average volume, heavier than the day before. Green bop is at a higher level. Still very, very basically the same price as it was this morning's ad signal entry 15204 15223 you're splitting hairs at 0.12% with the pocket pivot point the higher volume in the green bop this is another ad signal so second ad signal in a row when i add to my position if i can got to raise capital in vrtx this is the second to last priority 15317 is the limit first cut loss 14918 this low right here Final cut loss, 147.18. For me, once again, 147.18 is going to be my only stop on VRTX. And the final ad signal, LMAT. LMAT, pocket pivot point signal off of its 5, 10, and 20-day moving average with the close near the high of the day. BOP increasing heavier than the day before. Volume is heavier than the day before. And we have a pocket pivot point signal. Once again, I forgot to show you like all every other one. I mean, it doesn't matter. You already know the... Same pattern over and over. See the previous uptrend in VRTX. See the previous uptrend in NTEC. See the previous uptrend in OFIX. See the previous uptrend in CSGP. See the previous uptrend in L LMAT. So once again, we're looking for that same thing. Potential maybe 50% reward. At most, we risk if we're wrong, what, 2, 3, 4%. So once again, we're dealing with another 5 to 1 to 10 to 1 plus reward risk ratio. I love that. So I want to get long. LMAT, limit order of the high day, 37.83. First cut loss level, 36.75. It can also be your only cut loss level. Final cut loss level for me then here, 35.90 if I had the position. Once again, I have to raise capital to do this in the morning. So how it goes for me in the morning as I raise capital, OFIX, priority one, NTEC, priority two, LMAT, priority three, VRTX, priority four, CSGP, priority five. The capital and the buying power that I have currently is all going to the speculative positions. Platinum members, you'll find that on the new positions page where the speculative long positions are posted. So those are the new long signals, everyone. This market continues to be beyond impressive. Once again, the gains aren't huge. And if you want to know why, this is why a VIX below 10. If you want to know where the good games come from, you get a VIX up here. Look at what it was at the 2000 and 2008. You got a VIX at 67. Whenever you get the lows and start to move in March 2009, you got the VIX at 45, 36. That's what I'm talking about. And in 2003, before the major uptrend started in 2003, one of the best ones that I've ever been a part of, you got a VIX at 33. That's how you get those explosive big gains. There's a lot of volatility in the market. Right now with a VIX under 10, you get what you get with a VIX under 10. You can't force returns. The signals are the same. The final outcome is what's different. And you and I have zero control over that. The market has complete control over that. So make sure you invest and trade accordingly. All right, everybody, great luck on Tuesday. I will not have time to make a video less than Tuesday evening. I am in the middle of a very large personal project with my girlfriend ahead of her art show. So Tuesday, I don't even know if I'll have any commentary in the new positions page. It'll just be the new longs and sell signals. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the chat room. Aloha.